All right, so I'm just going to talk about this torque wrench by Bike Master. I'm no way associated with them. Um, I'm just I've I've had a few questions about them, and it's not the first time. So I decided to make a video of it because I know when I was looking for one of these, uh, I couldn't find any videos or any way of knowing if they're any good or not. So this is me using it. Uh, I've had this for maybe a little over a year now. Uh, it's a quarter inch. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, there's more out there. You can get the half inch. The, the anyway, this is what I, this is what I'm using right now. Okay, so the way it works is batteries go in here. It takes two AA batteries, which is pretty convenient for most of us. Uh, we all have hopefully double or no, sorry, AAA batteries. It's AAA batteries, and uh, yeah, it lasts quite a while actually. Um, anyway, I turn it on. I press the power button, and uh, it says trace here. All that really means is, is when I'm torquing it, it'll give me the numbers while I'm torquing it, uh, while I'm climbing up, basically. I'll show you guys that later. Um, plus and minus here, uh, basically lets me just, goes through the, uh, I can just add or minus, you know, it's pretty obvious. Uh, here, if I hit the power light again, it gives me a light, uh, which is pretty convenient. Um, what I do really like about this is this M here. Uh, if I press that, it'll go with my, my programming. So I program my first one to 15 Newton meters. If I go up, or sorry, I press M again, it's my second one. It's eight. I only use about six, maybe seven, usually. Uh, so I just program them all and I know where they are. I hit it again, I go in the third one. Uh, that's 20 Newton meters. Now, if you don't want the Newton meters, you can just, uh, I think it's these two buttons. Yep, see I hit those two buttons, now I'm going to foot pounds. This is the best I can get for uh, the zoom here right now. Um, anyways, that's foot pounds right now I got it into. If I press it again, I'm into inch pounds. If I press it again, uh, kilograms. Uh, something I'll never use, but anyways, it's there. Anyways, you get your newton meters there. Uh, I can keep hitting the M here. Let's go through my programming. Um, there's 10 programmable uh, settings here. So, like I said, all I really need was about six or seven, so that it's perfect for me. Um, so yeah, that's what that does here. Um, if I want to change something, say I go to the seven, all I just gotta press up, and then I'll change that. You know. It's pretty low, one newton meter, and it goes up to 30, I believe. Yeah, 29th, and then. Oh, I got the points, I wait too long. Yeah, 30 is the max I can get. So, there you have it. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, right now, uh, I've set it on. Well, I'm gonna set it on. Uh, let's go seven. Okay, so I got seven. Uh, one thing I haven't really talked about yet was the, uh, the this PT switch. Uh, there's one that says trace, which I've explained. It just goes up. And it tells you exactly where the torque is. The other one is P stop. What that does, basically, when you get to that highest peak of the torque it stops and it freezes the the number so you know exactly where it is now uh, I'll show you what I mean, I mean by that see how the numbers climb with P trace it would just keep climbing and and see, you hear that it means I'm getting close see it beeped and now it sits at 7.08 See, it sits there because I put it on P-stop. Now, if I put it on trace, it 
See, the numbers keep moving back and forth. It doesn't stop. And there it is. There's your Bike Master Torque Wrench. I must forget to show you where the case is. One sec here. Grab this wrench. I'll put it back in this case. Yes, I put it in the fridge. It's not any like normal fridge. Now it's not a beer fridge. See, it's where I keep all my oils and everything with the light because it warms it up for the winter. Anyway, keep it in this case right there. It comes in a nice case. You can see that. See. I just leave it there and I put a spare batteries in there. And uh, yeah. That's it. Well, like I said before, I'm not trying to sell you this thing because, uh, like I said before, it's, uh, you know, I'm not associated with them, but it is very expensive. Um, but I did want to give you a some knowledge about this because. They are expensive, and like I said, they're hard to find information on the internet, so I hopefully this helps. Um, if you have any questions about it, uh, just ask. Um, personally, I think it's worth it. I work with this a lot. I do a lot of dirt bikes and you know small engines, so this is definitely worth it for me, but it may not be for everybody. All right, thanks for watching.